Hey everybody, FunshineX here. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Beyond Mods A to Z, where we're going to cover every single mod in Feed the Beast Beyond, and you'll be an expert at them. Uh, last time we did actually additions, and it was a very long one, so we're going to go with a very short one here. We're actually going to combine two mods into one video. These are both IC2 add-ons. The first one is Advanced Machines, which we're looking at here, and then in the uh, second half of the video we'll cover Advanced Solar Panels. Um, both of these mods have been around for quite a while in some a while in some form, uh, one way or the other. Some people have created a mod, and then another person said, "No, that's too overpowered, so I'll create a different version of the mod and nerf everything." And then Greg Tech came along and made these and made them impossible, and then they came back easy mode. And so they've been morphed all over, and we're kind of back to the originals, but then with the new machines um, that IC2 has added over there. So let's let's get right into it. Um, I've got just some IC2 generators generating power with some cable under the ground. These um, machines are 32 RF a tick and do not support transformer upgrades. So don't bring any more than 32 RF, or not RF, 32 EU, or you're going to blow up your machines. So be careful with that. They do support um, ejectors and, and pullers. So you can do that, pull out of a chest above. Um, and they also, they need a redstone signal to work. Now, if you don't want to have a lever on the side of these machines to turn them on all the time, you could have some kind of, you know, fancy system that turns them on when you need them. Um, but they work best when they're pri primed. So this macerator is spinning at 10,000 RM. It's going to go really fast. If it was at zero RPM, um, it would take a while to spin up, and then it would start working fast. So if you've got tons of power, you leave them running all the time. If you don't, then you use them when you need them. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the chest. don't really need it. We can um, also put the uh, in, in, uh, redstone inverter signal in there. So that means we don't have to have this lever. And there we go. So it's still spinning up even without the lever on it because we have the inverter. All right, so what do we put in the master What's well, all the same stuff that you normally do, right? Uh, you put some gravel in there and you can see how fast that is. It's just crazy fast. And it's turning it into flint. Or we could put some uh, ore in there and it will turn into crushed iron ore. Which, as you remember, you need to then smelt or wash to make to, to start doing doubling and that kind of thing. All right, and if you want to actually craft one of these things, you're going to need the original macerator from IC2, an advanced machine casing, which hasn't changed recipes, and these sharpened iron plates, which is a new recipe of flint plus an iron plate to get one of those. So that's not that expensive to upgrade to them. Uh, they take a lot more power, but you get the speed um, for them. You got the same thing, the singulated compressor. This is just a better compressor, so we can th take things like your uh, mixed metal alloys, put them in there, and you get these advanced alloys super quickly. Runs at 90,000 gibbles. <laughs> so I don't know the, the term for that, that's fine. Uh, we have an extractor. Oh, the, uh, the recipe for the compressor is a bunch of obsidian around a normal compressor, advanced uh, machine. Um, let's go ahead with the sticky resin in the centrifuge extractor. We don't get any benefits other than speed, guys. That's all that's coming. We're not getting any extra rubber or anything. We do have multiple slots um, so that if you throw, you know, extra in there, you can, um, you're not going to run out of speed, you know, places to stick this uh, rubber. Um, yep, recipe for that one is a bunch of tree taps. So this one is super cheap as far as that goes. I mean, you do take steel, advanced allies, carbon plates, and machine casing, but... If you can make that, then you might as well uh, upgrade all your machines, right? Uh, the next one is the ore, the ore washer upgrade, which is called the thermal washer. It does take water, um, so I've got a creative source here just pumping water in there. Um, but if you leave it turned on, you can see it's got heat, and it actually is evaporating water at 5 millibuckets a tick or, or around there. So you need to constantly supply this a, with a water source if you leave the heat on. Um, but yeah, we can just go and take some of that crushed ore, put it in there, and we'll get purified, plus some tone dust, and that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, and you can see it uses the water really quick, so I'm not pumping in water fast enough. I think this will explode if we don't turn it off. <laughs> if this empties and it gets hot and then you put water in it, it will explode. So, um, yeah, this is not enough. At full speed, you've got to be pumping water in faster than that. That's crazy. All right, next thing we have is the recycler. It's the recipe for the, where is it? Thermal washer, there we go. It's sulfur, which you just find from bees. No, you get that in the world, or you can crush it from blaze rods. Um, yeah, so let's move on to the recycler. Again, oops. <laughs> you can put any item here, it's just going to recycle it, and you just scrap. 
same as it was a long time ago. Um, so a whole stack of bread just gave us six scrap. Interesting. Um, but if you put in a bunch of scrap, at least nine, it's going to give you um, scrap boxes for your nine scrap. You know, it doesn't stack, so you got to have something extracting out of here. But what you see, once I uh, take this last one, it's going to turn the scrap and try and scrap it again, <laughs> which is kind of stupid. So you have to put at least a stack of nine in there. And then you can uh, open scrap boxes and they give random things, right? I've got creative mode on, so I'm not actually using it, but there's a sampling of stuff. What do we got? All right. The recipe for that one. If we can find it. There it is. Pistons. On a recycler. All right, cool. Uh, we've now got the three um, roller machines, or basically the metal formers, and one of them's bugged. Um, the first one is the roller, and that will give you the metal sheets. So here, take an iron, I get iron plates, put the back in there, and I get iron casings, and that's all you can do with it. You know, making plates, this is the best way not to use a stupid hammer. Um, and whereas the normal metal roller you can switch between, or metal former you can switch between three modes, this one actually has three separate machines that you have to use. So that one to get the plates, this one's the extruder, so I can get wire out of there. So here's some HV cable, get the same thing with gold if I needed to. And this one is the jet cutter, which is supposed to act like the, the scissors. Uh, so if we look at recipes of the scissors, oops, uses of the scissors here, the cutter, you can see we can make cables out of plates, all right? But <laughs> if we put, uh, let me actually get a plate here. If we put plates in here, we get casings. <laughs> so it's acting like a, a roller. So water jet cutter broken at the moment is as far as when I'm filming this, who knows? Maybe they will fix it eventually. Um, and this one takes water, so it's kind of stupid. Don't use the cutter. Use this one if you want um, casings. And what happens if I put iron? Yeah, it's it's configured to run as a roller. Interesting. So yeah, completely bugged. Um, but yeah, guys, that is it for all of advanced machines. Um, eight different machines, really technically um, six because all three of those are really the same thing. Um, that all just give you increased speed. Uh, for your IC2 machines at the cost of more power and sometimes water. Uh, and I think you use water anyway. So yeah, just more power for faster speed. So let's move right into advanced solar panels. You get four new solar panels, a quantum generator, which is only a creative mode item, and three solar helmets. Uh, the normal IC2 solar panel um, just does like one RF or one, I keep saying RF, one EU a tick in the daytime and doesn't work all in the nighttime or rainy days, right? So we need to get some better modes. So if we want to craft an advanced solar panel, you can see it's very expensive. You need a, the basic plus some advanced alloys, some advanced circuits, and a radiant plate. So you need a scenarium, which is glowstone in a molecular transformer. <laughs> And uh, the iridium plate, oh, so yeah, it's, it takes a while to get to these. Um, the irradiated glass takes irradiated uranium. Yeah, so it's a it's, yeah, crazy expensive recipes, um, but you get really nice results. So here's the advanced solar panel, and that is going to be 32 EU per tick. So it's like 32 normal solar panels. So you have to decide for yourself, is it easier to craft 32 of these or one of those? Uh, this one also has the bon benefit of you get eight EU tick at night time and in the rain. So whereas these would give you nothing, this gives you all the time a little bit of power. You can hold 32,000 internally and has four slots in it to charge items. Pretty cool. All right, well, that's not enough for you. Well, let's leave that there in between the glass. There we go. Let's move on to the next one, which is the hybrid solar panel. And that one also has the four slots, but it's going to generate 128 EU per tick in the daytime and 64 in the nighttime. And these are based on values from Feed the Beast Beyond. That these can be modified in config files. Holds 100,000 RF. Recipe is even getting harder now. Um, you have an uh, advanced circuit, lapis block, iridium. You know, really, the only hard things are the iridium and the enriched in that uh, scenario. Where are you? There you go. So tons of uranium and scenarium there. 
that gives you an advanced, um, or into the hybrid. So there we go, hybrid. Now let's go to the ultimate hybrid. Look at that thing, 512 EU per tick in the day and night, and it holds up to 1 million EU. Did I keep saying, did I say RF, RF again? I mean EU, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, that this is amazing, and you're going to pay out the wazoo to get it. Um, there is ultimate. And it's going to take eight of the hybrid ones. So those were already expensive to begin with. Eight hybrids and advanced circuit. Or you can go with scenarium and cold chunks and an advanced. Just one advanced. So determine what is easier. Probably, I don't know, maybe this recipe here. Um, but if you've already crafted a bunch of hybrids, then you can just put them together. Make your ultimate. All right, well, that's even more. We've got, I run out of room. We've got a quantum. This one is 2048 EU per tick um, in the nighttime, 4096 in the daytime. I don't know, the numbers here are weird, but that's what the wiki says, is the 4096 in the daytime, and that's the nighttime battle. So, yeah, lots, lots of power. And the recipe, can we even craft this thing? Uh, eight ultimate hybrids and a quantum core, which is nether stars, eye of enders, and scenarium. So, good luck. Once you get this guy, you're probably never going to need EU per tick again. Um, but, yeah. And then, if for some reason you do need creative EU, you've got this guy. Um, I could have used this down in there to do the mod spotlight. Um, I'll just cover him real quick. You can determine what kind of output you want to do and at what tier. So, at tier 1 is the 32 um, I EU per tick tier. So, if I did, like... Fifth, no, I can't even enter in here. I gotta use buttons. I could do like thousands and thousands of RF, but if I do it at tier one, it's actually gonna divide this 30, oh, you know, 3200 into like 100, 100 packets. So I won't blow up my machines. So really useful doing mod spotlights or, you know, creative maps or um, some kind of thing where you have to give the, the user free EU and you wanna make sure it's a certain tier so they don't blow up machines and stuff like that. This is an excellent little machine. All right, now we've got the uh, the solar helmets. All you have to do is wear them, not on your boots. <laughs> Apparently, you can wear those wear that one on your feet. The nano one is uh, works on your foot, feet as well. But it's um it's just a black block. <laughs> Hopefully, they fix the model on this because black block I'm not too keen on. Um, but yeah, that's your advanced solar helmet. This is charging. I don't know. A lot of EU. Um, yeah, yeah, it's gonna basically they're gonna um, go based on their matching solar panel. They're gonna just act like one of those, and you can see even the recipe is using one of them. So you take the nano, add the advanced solar, and a few other machines. Um, so let's see the hybrid. What does that one look? That one looks better. Okay, they need to make the nano look like that. Um, that one's not generating any EU. That is unfortunate. So apparently they've, <laughs> you know, this has just been ported to 110 and there's a lot of issues with it, right? Uh, we saw advanced machines, a few of the machines not even work right, and this one is not charging at all. So that's a bummer. Uh, the ultimate, do you, you can charge on my feet as well. <laughs> and what is... Wait, it doesn't charge on your head? It has to be on your feet to charge, guys. You need to shift-click it into your feet <laughs> to charge it. What if I'm not in creative mode? Maybe that's a problem. No, it does not charge on my head. Huh. Yeah, it works fine on my feet when I, I'm in creative mode. Awesome. <laughs> oh, now it's charging on my head. <laughs> like I wear one on my feet and one am on, on my head. That's awesome. And now it's not charging. Oh. Alright, these things are, are kind of silly. Um, so wait until they're fixed and you can use them if you want some free EU. It's nice to have these because I think they'll charge your jetpack if you're wearing an uh, EU jetpack. Guys, that's so much shorter than the uh, the previous spotlight, but we covered two mods, advanced machines and advanced solar panels. Um, both, if you like IC2, then these are, are great additions, uh, even with the bugs, and hopefully those will be resolved soon. 
And uh, yeah, if you come back next time for the next mod that we're going to tackle in Feed the Beast Beyond. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you next time. Catch you later. Bye.